Mic checker. Chica, chica, chica. It's not some, baby. Uh, yeah. At one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gon' shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gon' grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is another episode, so sold, of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Chica, Chica, Chica. Not some, baby. Here we go. Uh, what's good, family? I want to talk to the fellas right quick. You know, I want to talk to the my men's in them. And ladies, of course, you can listen in and take heed. And I want to talk about thirsty dudes in relation to the Me Too movement. Yes. And, you know, fellas, when you approach a woman, whether it's in the inbox, the DMs, the messenger, or on the street, or in a social setting... You got to realize that you got to distinguish yourself from the other dudes who approached her. You got to separate yourself from the pack. You got to ask yourself, what can I say or do different that the other dudes haven't done before? And you may ask, well, how would I know what other dudes have done? I would know what they might would have done or they had done in the past. Now, the, the answer is easy. Just be yourself. But then again, when a lot of y'all be yourselves, y'all fuck it up because y'all, a lot of y'all don't know how to talk to women. And the first thing that y'all want to do, y'all want to lead with your dick instead of your mind. You want to, you know, talk about sex. Everything is about sex. You want to go in a DM and send her a dick pic. And then you wonder why she doesn't respect you. A woman doesn't respect you when you act like the average dude, the average bird brain dude that she doesn't respect. When you come at her with conversation, when you come at a woman with some sense, she's, she's going to respect you like a boss because of your presentation. She's going to respect your mind because you're not coming at her like the other knuckleheads. Because all she's getting is cat calls about her sexuality. And a woman gets tired of that. You did? Know? She, she gets tired of getting approached. Hey, ma, how you doing? W-Y-D Where you going? Can I come over? Can I see your pussy? Send me a picture Can I lick your cat? Damn, you got a fat ass Damn, you know, can I be your man? If you got a man, I'll do what he won't do It's like shit like that that annoys women And shit like that It, it, it what makes a woman not respect you anymore And respect to a man should be worth more than gold You dig? It should be worth more than gold if, if, if you, when you talk to a woman, fellas, when you talk to a woman, your self worth has to project through your words and through your actions and based on how you carry yourself. When a woman sees that you respect yourself, she's going to act accordingly based on your conversation, based on, you know, what she sees from you in the inbox. If she sees that, you know, all you're going to talk about is sex. She no longer want to deal with you because a woman doesn't respect a man who she can control with her pussy. If a woman could control you with her womb, it's a wrap. Game over. Bye bye. You know what I'm saying? You might as well charge that to the game. Because you don't want a woman to lose respect for you. Respect should be paramount. It should be above trying to get sex from a woman. And that's what makes you thirsty. Listen, fellas, when a woman posts a thirst trap, when she posts a thirst trap in these groups or on her page or on IG or on any social media site, she's not saying you're thirsty just because you inboxed her per se. You could be genuine. She's saying you're thirsty because you're in her inbox based on what you saw. You saw some flesh. You saw her ass, her tits. The half news, the news, you were infatuated with her body, not with her from her mind. You was infatuated by that shit. You loved that shit. You loved her because of her sight, because of her presentation. It wasn't because of her intellect. It wasn't because that she was talking about world peace. No, she could pick up on that. So never mind that she's posting thirst traps and she's been thirsty for attention. Never mind that. She's calling you thirsty because she know what it was. You're not in her inbox because you want to have tea in the morning. 
You she she's thinking that you in her inbox because you want to fuck. You dig? And you got to change the game. We got to change the game. And this is where the Me Too movement comes in. You know, fellas, when a woman talks about sex, when she brings up sex, when y'all don't really know each other, I'm going to get to the Me Too movement shit later. But fellas, when, when a woman talks about sex, when you really don't know this woman from a can of paint, y'all never even met, as a matter of fact. You, you, you want to know how you can fuck up her mind? I'm, I'm going to tell you. Change the subject. Don't talk about sex. I don't care if your dick is hard. Do not talk about sex. That's going to separate you from the pack. That's going to separate you from the other thirsty motherfuckers who act like they never had pussy before. That's going to make you a boss because you want to talk about other things that's stimulating. You want to talk about other things that gives her an experience of what a man should be. You dig? That... Like, when you talk to a woman, sex should be the last thing that you talk about. And you control the conversation. You want to get in, in a woman's mind. You want to get in her head. You want to see what makes her tick so you can know whether you want to deal with her or you want to leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you talk about sex, she's going to put you in a trick bag and she's going to get whatever she can get out of you because she knows that she can control you through sex and she's not going to respect you. And then you wonder why that she's talking at you any old certain way. Because you don't respect yourself. You dig? And, and I said all that to say, I, I want to bring in the Me Too movement. Now, we living in an era where everything is politically incorrect. Yes, we are. And I, I say all that to say when you're walking down the street and you see a, a woman or a young lady and she looks down, she looks away, she looks straight, that means she doesn't want male attention. That means she doesn't want any type of male attention. She want to be left alone. You know what I'm saying? She want to be left alone. And... Yes, you may be tired of the feminists and you may call them feminists, but guess what? You can use the Me Too movement to your advantage. How not, son? How can we use the Me Too movement to my advantage? You can because if a woman on the street doesn't want male attention, she doesn't want that type of attention, then you can use that energy to something else. You can use that energy to focus on your goals, to focus on getting money. Chasing that bag Instead of chasing pussy You should be chasing that bag Why? Because women come with the shit When a woman sees that You're boss like When she see that You're on your boss shit You're on your business You're on your BI They're gonna be chasing after you You dig? So You should change the game You should turn the tables Because fellas You gotta re You gotta remember a woman feels vulnerable on the street for the most part. Her defenses are up. You did? Her defenses are up. She's not comfortable. She's not comfortable because even, even if she's not a feminist, she's going to agree with the Me Too movement concept of street harassment. Because you may come at her in a genuine manner. You may say good morning and she doesn't respond, but that's because the 50 other motherfuckers who approached her that day, they came at her sideways with the cat calls. You dig? They throwing salt in the game. And fellas, even if you approach a woman and she's feeling you, she finds you attractive, she's going to automatically say no because she's programmed to reject you based on the other dudes who holler at her on some nut shit. You did? Even if she's feeling you, she's gonna she's gonna automatically put you in a creep box if you met her on the street. So now son, what's the solution? You you telling me I can't shoot my shot? No, I'm not telling you that. I'm saying if you're gonna holler at a chick on the street, make sure that she A gives you strong con eye contact. Make sure that she B She's giving you the body language that invites you to talk to her. 
You did? Or C, if she compliments you, then parlay that into a conversation. And, and, and you know, you have to realize that the best way to talk to a woman is in a social setting where she's comfortable, where she's more... Um, she, she's more inviting to a conversation. She will cooperate with you because she's in a social setting that calls for mixing and mingling. You dig? And then you can shoot your shot. Go to the club, to the bar, to the lounge. Or when you go to these vacation getaways, these weekend getaways, a boat cruise, a, 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 a trip to the islands, or something like that. She's going to be more receptive to what you got to say. But if she's just walking down the street every day, she's used to guys trying to, throw, guys trying to holler at her every day to the point where she's immune to that. No matter how good you look, no matter whatever you say. Because dudes nowadays, they act like they can't talk to women. They don't know how to talk to women. And fellas, we got to turn the tables and change the game to the point where... We're going to ignore them on the street. We can admire from a distance in our minds. But if we don't say anything to them, they're going to be to a point where they're going to be starving for male attention. They're going to be like, damn, what the fuck? Why nobody trying to holler at me? Oh, that's going to oh, that's, that's, that's gonna fuck up their minds. So you got to adapt to changes. Survival of the fittest. Adapt, adapt to your surroundings. And men, we are capable of that. And my young, young, to you young cats, I know your hormones are raging. Yes, it is. I, I know your hormones are raging and you want to get it in. You want to hit everything moving. But get your money up. Get your paper up. Get your business right. And then they're going to come with it. Because when a woman sees that you're progressing, when a woman sees that you're building, they're going to chase after you. Because as you get older and more established, your stock and your value increases. You dig? So, fellas, I, I just want to say that, you know, when you get on these social media pages, women automatically think that you're a creep. They automatically think that you want sex. So there's no reason to inbox them. There's no reason to DM them because they know they're going to ignore you. They don't even check their inboxes because they already know the bullshit that's going to follow because you have these lame motherfuckers who want to send dick pics and all that nutty shit fucking up the game for you. So you got to be a gentleman. You got to be a distinguished gentleman and distinguish yourself from the rest of the pack who just talk about sex. Don't talk about sex. You know what I'm saying? Do not talk about sex. Even if she's feeling you, even when you're feeling her, do not talk about sex. Get in her mind because if you massage the mind, the body will follow. See what makes her tick. See what moves her. See what type of woman she is. Because you can't trust a big butt and a smile. And all that glitter may not be gold. You did? So you got to be aware of that. And don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty to get ass. Give her an experience that she never felt before. And I'm not talking about spending money. I'm not necessarily talking about taking her out. Say things that she never heard before. And when y'all do me, do things that she never saw before. What do I mean by that? It's like, have a conversation with her. Pay attention to her. Be attentive. Understand where she's coming from. Even when you disagree with some of the shit that she says, understand where she's coming from so you can understand her mind, so you can understand her train of thought, so, and so you can act accordingly. Not to deceive her, not to be deceptive, not to say what she wants to hear, because if you say what a woman wants to hear, then you're just a trick, and you're not being true to yourself. Because man is true. What I mean is that every woman is not the same. And when you, when you listen to a woman, you're going to know how you should speak to her. You should know how you should treat her. Even when you speak to her with respect, even when you treat her with respect, you will know what to say and what not to say based on her insecurities, her fears, her dislikes, her pet peeves. You will know how to treat her accordingly. Because it's not a one-size-fit-all thing when you speak with women. 
That's why it's stupid as hell to be so damn thirsty. Because just a woman, just because a woman wants sex, just because she posts half naked pictures and nudes, just because she may be a nympho, that doesn't mean that she'll want to fuck you right off the bat. That doesn't mean that she'll want to talk about sex out the bat. She's still a human being. You still gotta get in her brain. You gotta massage that Maduba Abagata or whatever you call that shit. Her cerebral. The reason why you shouldn't talk about sex because you should create that sexual attention. When you create that sexual attention, that builds up anticipation for her to want to fuck you. That's why you shouldn't talk about sex. It's about building anticipation. Building up that sexual attention. Become a, uh, become a challenge. Because if a woman feels that she can control you with her pussy, it's a wrap. When, when a woman feels like she can control you with her womb, it's a wrap. When a woman feels like she can control you with sex, it's a wrap, wrap, wrap. And she's going to look down on you. You're not a boy anymore. You're not a, a man anymore. You're a boy. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave with your dick. Put your dick in your pants. Those dick pics are lame. Don't do that shit. Don't flash your money. Don't give, her, don't give her gifts right off the bat. Don't show your gratitude right off the bat. Because guess what? There's always a baller who is bigger than you. So if you're leading with your dick, there's somebody who is bigger than you in that department. If you lead with your money and your gifts, there's another, another man who has more than you. And she's going to jump ship and go to the biggest baller. No, your mind is the biggest asset. It's not the exterior, it's the interior. Man doesn't make the money. Your mind makes you and your thought process. And that's what you got to convey to women. And that's what builds up your value. Because she knows that you're capable of guiding her. She knows that you're capable of steering the ship. Based on your level of leadership, even when y'all not together, even if y'all not in a serious relationship, when she goes out with you, she knows that you're going to lead her to the promised land of excitement, of having a good time. And she's comfortable with you because she knows that it's not about sex. It's about her. It's about the totality of a woman. When you with a woman, you with her in total, the totality of a woman. 100% of a woman You gotta pay attention to her mind, body, and soul You dig? It's not all about the sex A lot of dudes, y'all can't get women Because y'all don't pay attention Y'all have no social skills Y'all have no game, no swag No style, no finesse, no anything Because game is just another way of saying knowledge Game is just a common word for knowledge You dig? And being thirsty is not game <laughs> Being thirsty is not game. Quench your thirst with knowledge, not chasing ass. You did? And this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Nasun, baby. Check out my website, www.nasunblaze.com. That's www.nahsun. B L A Z E dot com and check out my ebook, You Me Us Them, The Swinger Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, ebooks. Shit, it's on Nook, Kindle, Google Play, iBooks. Yeah. Get it? Got it? Good. It's good because I wrote it. You know? Ow. Check out my Instagram. That's not son the great. Check out my Tumblr. That's not son the great. Check out my Snapchat. That's not Sun the Great. And my Snap is for women only, not dudes. I am not interested in snapping with hard legs. Just women. 100% women. And not you handsome looking chicks either. Check, <laughs> Check out my Twitter. That's not Sun one That's number one. And shoot me an email with your questions and or concerns to swingpodcast at gmail.com. And we gonna go out like this. There we go. Uh. So here we go. Chica chica. Uh. So here we go. What? Uh. Yeah. And I'm out. <laughs>